Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a fire alarm circuit. The components which you need are a breadboard, a buzzer, infrared LED, normal LED, jumper wires, PC547 transistor, 220 ohm resistor, and a 9 volt battery. First of all, I'm going to start by connecting the transistor to the circuit. The left leg is my collector, the middle one is my base, and the right one is my emitter. I'm going to connect the emitter to the negative rail of the breadboard. Then I'm going to connect my infrared LED. For this LED, the longer leg is going to be anode or positive. Anode is going to be connected to the base of the transistor and cathode is going to be connected to the positive rail of the breadboard. Why? Because the infrared LED works in reverse direction. It is reverse biased. So the anode goes to the base of the transistor and the cathode to the positive terminal of the breadboard. Then I'm going to use another jumper wire from the collector of the transistor to this part of the breadboard so that I can have enough space to connect my other elements. Then I'm going to connect my buzzer to the breadboard. This is my positive terminal and this is my negative terminal. So positive terminal goes to the positive rail of the breadboard. And the negative terminal goes to the collector of the transistor. Then I'm going to connect my resistor to the collector of the transistor. And finally, I'm going to connect my LED to the resistor and to the positive terminal of the breadboard. So for LED, the longer leg is positive. So cathode goes to the resistor and the anode goes to the positive rail of the breadboard. So I have my 9 volt battery right over here and I'm going to connect it to the breadboard. So the positive terminal of the battery goes to the positive rail of the breadboard and the negative goes to the negative. So we are basically done with the circuit. Now let's check whether our fire alarm circuit works. I have my lighter over here. I'm going to slowly bring it close to the infrared LED. Let's see. So the circuit works perfectly. And now I'm going to describe the working principle of the fire alarm circuit. So if there is any fire, in our case is the fire from the lighter, the IR LED receives the infrared radiation emitted from the fire and gives a positive pulse to the base of our NPN transistor because our LED is connected to the base of the transistor. In this case, the transistor turns on and current can flow from the collector to the emitter of the transistor. When the transistor turns on, the, the buzzer and our LED which they are both connected to the collector of the transistor they also will be turned on and in the end we can detect any fire nearby 